Hey, it's Offing Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a program that draws Sapinski triangles with JavaFX. And I'll be using recursion to draw the triangles. So very simply, what a Sapinski triangle is, we first have a normal triangle. Then on order 0, it's empty. On first order, we have a triangle drawn in the middle of each side of the triangle. It's the new corners. So the middle, corner, middle, side, corner, middle, side, corner. The second order, and then again, the new empty triangle, we would have in the middle a new corner, in the middle a new corner, in the middle a new corner, and all the corners, and then so on, three, four. And what's also quite interesting about this one is if we could technically go infinite, because the triangle just keep being drawn in the empty spaces, and we could, if we could zoom in. If I just made this infinitely large, or infinitely high order, we're just zooming, be zooming forever. And it's kind of like the fractals. So how we dust this, let's first do like an order 10. It takes some time for it to load, but then you can see it just gets darker because we have a triangle inside the empty space, inside, 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 and so on. But this actually looks quite, quite nice. Let's go a few orders back. It's a bit laggy. Because when we're drawing this many triangle, because of recursion, we are drawing so many orders that it might actually be crashing. Let's just close it. But how we're doing it is I am using JavaFX where I am creating my own pane. So I have a class extending pane, which set as a basic order of zero. And I can redraw if the size has changed the window. But most importantly, we would simply display our triangle given an order and some corners where first of all the corners it's just we have an invisible pane here it's the corners and then whenever we give it first if order zero we just draw a triangle simple however example let's say the order is one we would then first say order is not zero then draw or we'll then get the midpoints of the corners. So we have this line, get the midpoint, this line, get the midpoint, and this line, get the midpoint. Save all these midpoints. And then we would display a triangle on all of the midpoints by simply calling display triangle method again with an order by less and then the fitting corners. Just based on math, more or less finding which midpoint should be where. So at first we only draw one. Because of these it's gonna keep drawing and drawing and drawing. Because let's say we had an order of three. Then we first call display triangle, create this one, and then we would subtract one, have an order of two, and then draw the next one and the next one, and that's why it would be technically infinite. If the order is infinite we would be drawing infinite amount of triangle because we never fill up the space because we're always just going half size. So this was just a very simple program inside JavaFX where I am able to live demonstrating different orders of a Sapinski triangle. So if you want to have the code, let me know in the comments and I might put it in somewhere in Gist or Git repository or something like that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful 